What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to solve a linear equation that has decimals but it requires distribution, okay? So as you can see we're going to need to distribute this into the parentheses, okay? So how would we solve for n in this problem here? So the first thing we're going to do is distribute this number into the parentheses, okay? So you're going to take 0.05 and you're going to multiply it by n and then you're going to multiply it by 8. Okay, so 0 0.05 times n, that's just going to be equal to 0.05n, and then 0 0.05 times 8 is equal to 0 0.4. Okay, and then since we're subtracting right here, you would just bring that subtraction straight down. Okay, and then bringing down the rest of our problem, we have plus 0.25n is equal to 4.10. Okay, now what do we do? Well, as you can see, we have a variable, right? We have the n right here, and we also have an n right here. But this is just a number, right? It's not, it doesn't have a variable on it. So since this is just a number, we want to move it to this side because this is also just a number, right? Because we want to combine like terms. So in order to move this negative 0.4 over, we're going to add 0.4. And what you do to one side of an equation, you do to the other, right? So we're going to add 0.4 on this side also. Okay, so now simplifying on this side, we're just going to be left with 0.05n. And then this minus 0.4 plus 0.4, that just goes to 0, right? So then we just have this plus 0.25n, plus 0.25n. And then that's going to be equal to 4.10 plus... 0.4 and then this is going to be equal to 4.50 okay so we're getting closer now what is 0.05 plus 0.25 that's going to be equal to 0.30 okay and since they both have an n on them you just keep the n okay and then that's going to be equal to 4.50 Okay, now we're just trying to isolate n by itself, right? So we need to get rid of this 0 0.30. So since we're multiplying here, in order to undo the multiplication, we're going to divide by 0 0.30, okay? Because this is what we're trying to get rid of. And you do that to both sides of the equation. Okay, so the 0 0.30 on the top and the bottom, those cancel out. So we're just going to be left with n on this side of the equation. And then that's going to be equal to 4.50 divided by 0 0.30, which is equal to 15. All right, so then your answer right here is n is equal to 15. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.